chaos folks come on over to fade grips and use the code bsg92 to get 20 percent off products if you have not already please follow our twitter and our twitch bsgaming92 where you can get all the updates on uh when we'll be streaming and recording and all that that fun jazz stuff thanks man So let's see if I can. That works. All right, here we go, guys. Ooh. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption Two. Um, did have a big oopie. Uh. for the noise so for now we're going to stream off of a rack stage and record the answer and we're going up to parchment if I remember right This house looks abandoned. Hmm. I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This hey Google. Looks like it's been Turn empty off for months. The movie room. You think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors? Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. Two years. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. You're pathetic!
Please forgive me, my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You Don't want the gory hungry. details? I'll give you the gory details. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. What did my brother do to these men? They were completely out of their heads. Done. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, your brother. That statue we brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him, even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. 
What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartrand's not exactly a nice guy, but this doesn't sound like my brother. You said he sold the statue. To who? I don't know. It's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing. Wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, he got worse. I haven't seen anyone alive in here except for guards. What happened to the rest of the staff? They're dead. I don't know what Bartrand did to them. By the ancestors. The sounds coming from his study. They're dead by now. I hope. What do you mean you hope they're dead? Just whoever, whatever you find in that room. Varric, give them a merciful death. I assume you mean he's crazy, not just very upset. He's hearing things, seeing things, talking to someone who's not there. That's when he's feeling good. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. First, we, uh, we look in this room. Actually, primevals. Yeah, I'll take that. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Eric, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. What the help hell? you? Bartrand, you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? You've already beaten him. Don't lose your head. I just... I want to know why. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the Deep Roads? Or was it all the statue? I know. Not a statue. It wants to be worshipped. It wants me. It wants me back. She stole it from me. For this. Who did you sell the idol to, Bartrand? She glittered like the sun. But her heart was ice. She will not feed it. Not like I did. Bartrand was a bastard when he sealed us in the Deep Roads. But he wasn't a madman. Bloody ancestors. Why bring me this close and still nothing? For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that tide. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. You don't want to do this, Varric. You're not the sort of man who'd kill his own brother. No. I've been counting the days until I could put a bolt in his conniving little brain. It's not just us. Look what he did out there. How many more people will die for his folly? He has to be stopped. But there are other ways than murder. Fine. We'll have to lock him away somewhere. I'll send somebody to get him. Come on, Hawk. The sooner we get out of this house, the better. Aveline did not like that.
Did you need something, Varric? A stiff drink, maybe. I feel like I've been kicked by a horse. You'd think being left for dead in the deep roads would have prepared me for Bartrand going nuts. But it really didn't. If I ever had doubts about who was the better brother, they're long gone. You did good. No, please, Hawk. There was never any doubt. I'm the handsome, irresistibly charming one. I'll deal with Bartrand somehow. Make her that'll be even more of a joy than it used to be. I still can't believe what he did in that house. It's one thing to walk away and leave us to die, but that... He didn't do this on his own. The artifact from the Taig warped his mind. Don't let him completely off the hook. He chose to steal the damned thing. He brought it on himself. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. What makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them. Don't worry, unless there's some over here. Don't worry. Dang it. Good to see you, Captain. <laughs> Evening, Captain. Who's a funny boy? You are. Yes, you are. Yeah? There's a letter for you. Strange you really how the messages can come while you're home. Be careful. They don't think like that. I'll go here first, I guess. Avert your eyes, witch. You said I was dwelling on useless history. But what are you doing? The past is important to you and to all of us. We must know it to move forward. You had a life. You had a family. And you abandoned them to chase after ghosts. We are nothing alike. Wow. Don't even begin to think that we are. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo thefts. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Sir Arthur. 
go talk to Evelyn. Hawk, I need a favor that I can only trust to you. You can always ask. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Very well, Evelyn. If it means that much. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. His reaction? Guardsman Donick. Sir Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Just keep it. I'm sure it's more than it seems. It would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of varying import. Sarah Hawk. Is there some reason Aveline just made us look like idiots? <laughs> Sorry, it's... <laughs> You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. <sighs> Too many hits to the head. Or not enough. <laughs> hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. So help me, whore. <laughs> I will break you. Oh my god. Oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. Haveline, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhans married already? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? Wait. You've gone four years without. You must creak like a rusty hinge. Many people have their lives because of me. But poor you. No life of your own. We both place others above ourselves. I happen to do it clothed. Oh! You're splitting hairs, but wishing someone would split yours. I've had enough of your loose lips. Like many, I'm sure. Oh, touche. Prig. Slattern. 
If I might put this back on track. <laughs> Cat, Cat fight. fight. Cat fight. fight. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Isabella? I know she doesn't have two thoughts to rub together, but the danger of your lives must worry you. Oh! Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Why him and that's someone I should do this, dude. Well, this little dance certainly isn't helping. So what will? I'm the captain. He's my guardsman. I can't get past that. So go out. Get him drunk. Shame is a great equalizer. What? Just go out somewhere. Like it's that easy. What? Too simple? Tell Donick. Invite him to the hanged man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Sir Ardonic, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? A night at the Hanged Man for all the guard. You'll come? Of course you'll come. Should I have heard of this? Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll be there. Never good to be the last to hear of these things. <laughs> the truth. Oh, oh, oh. It's not always fun and games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates. And it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. You're a woman? Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get frustrated. I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? Ah, oh, Meryl. What? She missed it. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Oh, yes. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. I guess awe works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. This Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. Get come to you? <laughs> there were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change, apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um... Just give it a moment. Another round? Make a yes. So, 
Aveline is great. Look, if this was all an attempt to get closer to me through the captain, um, you're just not my type. Oh! All this plain shy business. I like a little backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I'm interested in him. I'm an idiot. If you were that far gone, you'd have hidden from the start. Would it have ended any worse? Yes. I need to talk to him. But I'm a mess unless I'm on patrol. I'm good at that. Killing high women doesn't exactly provide an intimate setting, though. And I'm tired of embarrassing myself. Then I'll clear the way and you'll talk to Donick. Putting you in danger just makes it worse. You made it my problem. I'm fixing it. Very well, Hawk. You pushed. You clear the route up the wounded coast and I... will live to regret this, I'm sure. <laughs> the Quinari scratch their heads with those horns in the way. Why do you think I would know? Because you know lots of things. I wonder if they rub their heads against tree trunks like Halla do. <laughs> I'd pay a sovereign to see that. <laughs> no wonder they seem so cranky all the time. Go down! I'll deal with it. Oh, so much oh, what a waste. Come on, I took that for him. Yes, you did, Meryl. Yes, you did. Watch out! It's a good spanking. So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um... <laughs> what? As you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. <sighs> Make her she's bad at this. Really bad? Oh my god. Hopefully they don't mind the sea of dead dogs I just left. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. 
What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right, of course. Ugh, painful. Good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Uh... I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. A friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. He'll file a complaint, ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Okay. Double time, Hawk. Or so help me. Don't need the push. Almost at 50. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. You've been waiting all day. You've been waiting all day for every day. Maker. Where is Donick? I have to head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. You're their captain, not a golem. They expect you to have feelings. Not if they get in the way of the job. You don't know that. I won't be that stupid again. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk, but I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what the hell was that? A 
Aveline. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. I think you can safely claim both halves of that pair. You're sweet. I knew asking you was the right thing. Let's not make a habit of it. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Not for a second. You don't lie very well. As far as you know. Shout <laughs> when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. Oh, um, you want to talk again? It's a fine suit. The finest? Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. Oh! <laughs> Trouble, Hawk? Seems like you have enough. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail deep in the problems of this city? Sure, you do good. But petition a title. Take a job. The guard is always looking. Don't blame me for not being you. I'd make a poor guard. Well, we agree on that. I don't really see you taking my orders. Nope. Besides, you won't catch me saying you don't have an effect. You've certainly had one on Hightown. But... Maybe it's time to get serious. Before the option isn't your own. You don't want me as sour and dour as you. You need a counterpoint. I don't think I've asked to be made the butt of your jokes. Donick. Okay, sometimes I have asked for it. I do wish there was more time for levity. It comes so easy to you. Maybe a little too easy. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Thanks. I think. Um. How longer do I have to wait? You're looking well. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Canari were blameless. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. He's I thought it was just as annoying for him. He's a hair from the edge. You need to keep everyone calm. Too late, I fear. It's a shame. He was making overtures of cordialness. Your influence, no doubt. What happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Konari, but it will cost all of us. You have information about the missing Konari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. 
I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. Has anyone reported this to the Canari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The air shock is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arishok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The hanged man. Hanged man. Definitely. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under an Please keep it quiet, sir. The Viscount is under an Meryl's house. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvian. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an alluvion. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathon. This is a hey, piece of a our history. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea the Keeper... I... I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. Of you course. will, won't you? I'll go with you. Master Arnas, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. reason for that. Oh. 
All right, folks. Once we get to the spot, we are going to save. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Ugh, take this off. Bye-bye!